What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to make the Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 house, this is part 2, and um, yeah, we're probably going to, um, I don't think we're going to finish the exterior, however we'll get close, so I think next episode, what we'll, or next part, we'll probably finish the upper part, and then we'll do layout for first floor, and maybe furnish rooms, some of the rooms, I actually don't know which house is bigger, this one or pre-alpha, based on, uh, bottom size. Uh, I'll show you the house again, but the video was in the description of last part. I'm not going to put it in this part because I don't really feel like it. <laughs> so it's a great excuse. And, um, I might actually stop this, like, halfway through, like, maybe after this part for a little bit and start FNAF. Because I want to get that done before my brain completely falls off a cliff and I don't remember anything. Um, materials I'm needing to start are light blue concrete. The last blocks. Oakwood planks. We'll say pink concrete. I have no idea to be honest. And, uh, maybe yellow concrete. Let me double check that, though, because I can't... What, who just messaged me? Nobody messaged me. Uh, um... Okay, now that's all we need for right now. So, coming to the right side, which is what we were working on last time, you want to come to the section of oakwood planks that's sticking out, and you want to place light blue concrete on top. Also, you can just fill in this row, I guess. All the way up. And then it does want to go straight across the back. Yes. Just like that. Oh, yeah, you also need glass panes. Whoops, sorry, my bad. I forgot that this, this isn't, like, pre-alpha. Then going around the horn, I guess. If that's the term. You're going to place two light blue concrete. One glass pane. One light blue concrete. One glass pane. One light blue concrete. One glass pane. Two light blue concrete. Alright, then going towards the left, you want to place a light blue concrete. Glass pane. Light blue concrete. Glass pane. Three light blue concrete. Two glass pane and then five, or sorry, six light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. I'm just gonna do the panes and then the uh, concrete separately. Probably easier that way, considering um, I made an oopsie with the. <laughs> it's what we needed. At least I caught it before it got worse. Place a light blue concrete on top of that. Crap, I don't know how far the pink concrete goes. <laughs> Place of oak wood planks on top of that. What is, like, tickling me? Is it the... I think it's the cord. I hope it's not a bug. It probably is a bug. Place of oak, of oak wood planks on top of that. Um, yeah. I made it a big a bit of an oopsie. I, again, I, I know the underside numbers. I don't know these numbers, though. Alright, so it's one before the... The, the, this, yeah. So at the middle row of the three light blue concrete, you want to bring, moving backwards, you want to place, turn on phone. Give me a sec, I'll find it. Four oak wood planks. It then wants to go right until it overhangs the right wall by two blocks. Just like that. And it wants to go all the way forward until it touches the dark oak wood stairs or the light blue concrete if you place one there or nothing just like that place a row of pink concrete on top of that I wanna I feel like okay I'm pretty sure it's correct but if it's wrong we'll figure it out also, make sure that it wraps along that side as well, and then it'll just connect to that wall, which would be correct, which it's actually not doing at the very moment in time, but whatever. 
this side. All right, going um front to back, you're gonna place two pink concrete, two glass blocks, one pink concrete, two glass blocks, one pink concrete, two glass blocks, three pink concrete, and then going across the back of the build, you wanna place two pink concrete, three glass blocks, and then three pink concrete. There are no windows on this side. Yeah. Copy that row one more time. And also, you might, you're might you going to need oak wood fence as well. God, I still have an itch there. It's annoying. Don't you just hate itches? Or do you, I don't know. Annoying. I think it's, what is it? It might be, I have no idea. Fun, fun, fun. Aha. Uh -huh. I figured out a way around it, but then I'm gonna sit on that, which would flick it off somehow, some way, because I know that would figure out that. Alright, you wanna place two rows of pink concrete on top of that. This section is weird. Highly weird. It's got a severe case of weird. What happens with this wall right here? Does it go back or does it... Okay, yeah, it does kind of do some weird things. You then want to place a of oak wood planks on top of that, which we'll do that later, I guess. You want to connect this out corner, outwards corner, this one, down to the ground with oak wood fence. It's actually not as far as I thought it was. This house is ridiculous. Look, look at that. <laughs> Just take a look at that. And, um, yeah, this section right here... If you'll give me a moment, uh, it's that one. Alright, so going from the pink concrete section, so basically right to the left if you're on the inside. Diagonal, you want to place a light blue concrete right there. Then leave a three block gap, and you want to place light blue concrete going till there. Now you want to extend the oak wood plank and the light blue concrete right until it is... Give me a sec. I know I looked at that until it's until it's at the edge of this, which is right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So extend it seven additional blocks. Which then this will connect forwards to that. So you can actually con bring this forwards and just kind of stop it once it hits directly above it. Because the se there will be a section there that pokes out as well. It's a lot of poking out and stuff. No, I didn't take a picture of the back. Alright, so basically you want to copy... Uh, oh, no, never mind. You want to copy that row three more times. Except for leave that side blank because there's a window on that side. You then want to place a light blue concrete on top of that. And then a row of oak wood planks on top of that. So we have three of the path or the entranceways. One is over here somewhere on the left side, which we're actually kind of starting to creep towards. Alright, so on this side, you want to place going back to front three glass blocks and then fa five light blue concrete copy that row one more time technically it's only four but because you can't see that row and then place two rows of light blue concrete on top of that oops and then a row of oak wood planks i don't know why i made this section bigger than all the others because you have that and then most of like the first floor is Gets cut off right above the windows. This floor is a little bit bigger, and this one's a little bit bigger. <laughs> and then the next one is, um, I think, actually smaller because it's where the pretty much where the building will end. And then you want to, all right. So at this this row right here, we're gonna actually work on against this wall. You want to go. You want to place our light blue concrete on top of the oak wood planks first off, and then going front to back, place a light blue concrete. Glass pane, light blue concrete, glass pane, light blue concrete, 
glass pane, light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. Uh, I'm not going to do tutorials on alphas 3 and 4, but I probably will build them. The reason being is it's just going to take so long because I'm already doing act 3, so. But there's a little light blue concrete on top of that. I believe this wall's blank. Except I do not know if I actually looked at that section. Okay, from there, it looks blank. I didn't look at it in, the, in those recent ones. Okay, yeah. So, this wall right here is just a blank wall of light blue concrete. But I believe this wall has windows. Yeah, it does. I know it does. Alright, you want to fill in this roof slash floor area in here with oak wood planks. The oak wood planks, it basically, what it does, it's weird, because it marks out the floor, but it also marks out the ceiling at the same time, because they share a block. That's how I made, I've made all the Hello Neighbor houses so far. So, like, this is the ceiling level, but this is also the floor level, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'll come back to this section. I guess we'll work on this wall right here. Let me, hang on, let me look at my photos again. Um, that is the back. I want, not this side, the other side. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. So that's weird. You want to place two rows of light blue concrete on top of the oak wood planks. Only on this wall, though. Ignore the garage and all that. Although I believe that I think there's actually a window at the front over there. But going front to back, you want to place three light blue concrete, one glass pane, one light blue concrete, one glass pane. The rest of the row wants to be light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. I actually don't know why it's like this, but it is. So if I did it, it's how it is. Place a row of oak wood planks on top of that. And then you want to extend the entire row outwards by two. So basically, it wants to, once it hits this corner, it goes back. So basically, that's what this... Oh, God. That's what this should look like. This It kind of has like a, an indentation where the corner... Where the two pop-out sections meet it at the corner. Alright, you want to place a row of light blue concrete on top of that. Just, just, just worry about this wall right now. Ignore all the sides. We're actually making nice progress. Yeah, now I'm sitting on the, um, frickin' switch. Which turns off my microphone. I really do not want it to do that. <laughs> Cause if it does that, that's not good. Going, I believe front to back or back to front. It does not matter. Place four light blue concrete. One glass block. One light blue con- no, sorry, it's three light blue concrete, one glass block, one light blue concrete, one glass block, two light blue concrete, one glass block, one light blue concrete, one glass block, and three light blue concrete. So that's what that should look like. Copy that row one more time. And I knew it was either three or four, but I don't know why I went with four. You could just hear the uncertainty. <laughs> Place two rows of light blue concrete on top of that. And then a row of oak wood planks. Fill in this little gap here at the back side. However, at the front side, there might actually be a window. So yeah, this is where you should have in the front right now. We literally have to do the front. Why have I been ignoring the front? Because the front probably... The front is probably the easiest side, actually. Because really all it has is that, um... The pop-out section for the garage, and then the balcony. I wanted to look at something the front solid I can't see oh but there I can alright so basically you want to place two rows of light blue concrete right of the bottom section and then also the oak wood planks but then four rows from the top section and, uh, and the oak wood planks I actually do not know if you need the oak wood planks to come across but we're gonna do it just to do it because I believe it comes out right here to create the balcony. 
And then above the garage, you want to place a row of light blue concrete on this row of oak wood planks. Not glass. Place an additional row. Again, I don't know why. It's this left side that does that. Except for that. Those windows are special. <laughs> and then going front to back, you want to place two light blue concrete. One glass pane. Or sorry, back to front. One light blue concrete. One glass pane. And three light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. And then place a row of oak wood planks on top of that. Bring forth the five rows of light blue concrete. However, do not bring forward the... Actually, do bring forward the oak wood planks. Because you might be able to see them. Plus, it won't really matter. I believe we can turn that... We can, like, square that off. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna have to... Okay, yeah, that's actually correct. So take this corner right here. Take these two co these two corners, actually. And you want to basically connect this together. So bring this right one left and this back one forwards. And then it will hit a connection. And then bring that um, corner down with oak fence to the ground. This one's high. Much higher than the pink concrete section. That's at the top of it. So it's not that much different. And then you do want to fill in the ceiling here with oak wood planks. Alright, so what we want to do is we're going to want to come to this dark oak wood stairs section. Behind the stairs you want to place a light blue concrete. And then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. Place a light blue concrete, two glass panes, and a light blue concrete. Oops. Place a light blue concrete on top of that. And then a row of oak wood planks. Make sure that, that, yeah. So we're just doing these four for right now. Place a light blue concrete. And then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. Place a light blue concrete, two glass blocks, and a light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. And place two rows of light blue concrete on top of that. Place a row of oak wood planks on top of that. And then this oak wood plank wants to go left by one, forwards by two, and then wants to connect left. Aha. Magic. So, yeah, just like that. So that basically shows us where everything is supposed to connect. And then you can also bring this oak um, plank right if you'd like. Actually, yeah, do bring it right and then fill in this under section right here with light blue concrete. It is coming together, everyone. How long does the timer have left? <laughs> 11 minutes. So it's taken us 20 minutes to pretty much basically finish it. We had all we had was the right and the bot. We had the bottom floor and then the right side almost completely finished. And we've done the back, the left, and a good amount of the front. Uh, you all right? So what you want to do with this oakwood plank? Actually, you can take this one right here. So the the one above the two block window, the one by two window or two by one, sorry. You're going to bring it left by one, forward two, and then connect it left. Fill in the bottom section again with light blue concrete, which should be directly behind the garage roof. And it also, you also want to make sure that it does go backwards as well by a block. And fills in all the gaps, just like that. So you're bas we basically just connected that right there. So in this section, you want to place our light blue concrete on the bottom, and then obviously place one on the side, just fill in the side actually, right now. Going left to right, you want to place two glass blocks, two light blue concrete, two glass blocks, and a light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. And place two rows of light blue concrete on top of that.
now this section is complete basically so what you want to do is you want to place a row of oak wood fence at the front just like that and it wants to go back on the right by two now get out this is gonna be weird get out birch doors and oak wood slabs and going left to right on this section, you want to place five light blue concrete, one birch door, and then four light blue concrete. Then going left to right on top of that, place a light blue concrete, glass block, three light blue concrete, skip over the door, three light blue concrete, and then one glass block. Copy that row one more time. And then you want to place a row of light blue concrete on top of that, and then a row of oak wood planks on top of that. <laughs> it looks like a face. <laughs> In front of the door, you want to place... Is it two upside down oak wood slabs moving forwards? I think it's just one. No, it is two, okay. I guess you could do either or. Then bring that left and right row. Rim that with oak wood fence. And at the front left and front right corners, you want to bring up the fence by four. That's not four, that's three. That's three and then a misplaced block. Um, there, that's that for now. We're gonna uh, work on that later. But, um, yeah, voice crack, hello. I think next we're gonna, we might actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I think we're gonna do the roofs next episode. However, what I want to do right now is I want to finish off this balcony. And hopefully this section. I think next episode we'll kind of put on some finishing touches on the back side. And then we'll do the roofs and probably the layout as well as the walls in the, on the inside for the first floor. So, um, yeah, I think that's the plan. Alright, so you want to come to the left side and come to the back, and you want to count forwards by five. One, two, three, four. Now, you should be above this window, the second one to the back. You want to move forwards with oak wood fences until you connect with the other oak fence. Now, at the... So, from this oak fence, you want to go backwards with two oak wood planks, and then you want to bring this left. That's kind of going to um, fulfill this gap right here. That's kind of going to help us with this next step. Bring this row of light blue concrete backwards by two. And then you want to get rid of your oak wood slabs and get out yellow concrete. I didn't take a picture of that. God dang it. <laughs> You want to move backwards diagonally to the left and place a yellow concrete. Hang on, let me go check that because I forgot. Okay, it's two. Cool. So then you want to bring it left with an additional one. Then a glass block. Then a birch door. Then a glass block. I place an oak wood plank below the door, by the way. And then two yellow concrete. So it should basically hit this oak wood planks, which is correct. Yay. Lightning scored <laughs> in their game. That's fun. Um, you. Oh my god, why did I not look at anything? Wait, I might have actually looked at this a little bit. Okay, I looked at it enough. So you're gonna bring this oak wood fence right until it is at the edge of this, and then it wants to go one block further. You're gonna bring this yellow concrete backwards until it is three blocks away from that. So, place an oak wood plank under the fence. One, two, three. So it should be four total, actually. And then all of this wants to come up with yellow concrete. We'll call it three rows of it. And then the glass wants to come up with two rows of glass and then a yellow concrete. And then the door wants to come up with one glass and then a yellow concrete. So, basically, we should have this. 
I actually think next episode we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do something next episode because the timer is 25 seconds left. Fill in the rest of this really quickly, this, um, balcony not that I am in any rush. I could make this an hour long if I really wanted to. It would take probably two hours to upload, but... 30 minute video usually takes 30 minutes. A 35 minute video usually takes like 45. Hey Siri! Stop. <laughs> it, just, it just made a tapping sound, alright. It did it like once. That was weird. Right of this oak wood fence, you want to place a light blue concrete. I'm going to bring it forwards by three. Wait, what? Okay. Never mind. Bring it inwards a row so it's up against the oak fence, just like that. So, but you should have four rows. And then you want to bring it backwards by one. Bring it. Bring that light blue concrete down with an oak wood plank. And then bring that oak plank backwards by four. I'm going to place a light blue concrete on top of that. And then you want to bring it back by three. I believe. Yeah. So what's going to happen is that this section is going to turn into this section, which I think we can actually build. Yeah, I don't really see any problem with that. So we could if we wanted to. I don't know if I will, though. You want to copy that row three more times, which is kind of a lot, technically. Technically. And a place of oak wood planks on top of all of it, which includes the gap. Come to the back, and um, can we do that? That's a question. That's a question. Yep. It's not the question, it's a question. Alright, so at this row right here, you want to place a light blue concrete, so at the very edge, and then bring it left, so bring it right from my perspective, by five. And then basically you want to connect this together with a diagonal, or a corner, sorry, an inwards corner. You can fill in this gap right here with oak wood planks, because that's what it should be. Some of this will be changed, I think, maybe? This might turn into dark oak slabs. Yeah, some of this will turn- most of this will turn into dark oak slabs. But, oh well, that's next episode, so. So there's another path. I will actually build the train tracks. How I did, except I'm not gonna build it perfectly like I did, because I don't actually know how to. However, I think I'm gonna look at that more and be like, okay, so yeah, that's what you need to do for numbers. Going um, left to right from my perspective on top of this, you want to place a light blue concrete, two glass blocks, one light blue concrete, one glass block, and then a light blue concrete. Copy that row one more time. Place a light blue concrete on top of that, and then a row of planks on top of that. Fill in this corner here, this diagonal, or whatever this is, this inner corner with light blue concrete with a row of oak wood planks on top. So you're basically just connecting the dots, which we're going to do some more of. So bring this, come over to this side and you want to, on top of the pink concrete, this block right here, which is diagonally from the uh, doorway right here, you want to place a row of light blue concrete with an oak wood plank on top. Now what you want to do is you want to connect this, this top oak wood plank, you want to bring that backwards, and this one you want to bring right and it should connect as a corner again. And then basically fill in the four rows under this with light blue concrete. Although you don't have to do all of them since we don't have the roof on. I'll just say do all of them for right now. There are no windows here. So uh, yeah, once you've done that, actually that is your structure complete. So um, yeah, I'll show you the inside space for the moment in time. Because it will change a little bit. Once we had roofs and stuff. But yeah, this is what it is. Pretty much, I'm going to be showing you how to do everything up to this point inside. So every not, if it has a gap in it, I'm not going to be showing you how to do it. Except for that, that's, that's a gap. If it one like anything past this, you can't actually... I wish you could ride the train, because that'd be so cool. Basically, the connection is this one to this one. 
And I believe this one goes to this one, which goes around to that one, which then goes to that one. Or this one might go straight to that one. But I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Here, we can actually go look. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this one goes across. Okay, no, it goes down there. Yeah, it does go down there. That's what I said. And then that goes around, and it'll come out over here. So, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is part two complete. With part three, we're going to add the roof on of onto the build. We're going to actually... we got to do more on the top of this. We're going to basically do roofs. We're going to add orange concrete section above there. We're going to add the yellow concrete uh, pillar-looking smokestack thing. And then we will add the train tracks. And I think we'll probably do the layout. That's the plan. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.